In Attila, skirmishers have very distinct roles. Archers, like the elite Germanic archers, have a high rate of fire and extreme range. They have 200 range. Uh, while these elite, uh, let's see, these Germanic crossbowmen have ho only 125 range, a low rate of fire, but they do massive amounts of armor piercing. And that is a boast that the elite Germanic archers cannot make. Archers will do well against crossbows due to their high rate of fire and due to the crossbows lacking armor. But against infantry, bows come up woefully short. To illustrate this, we've set up a line of Herculeanus Seniores. This unit has its back turned. This has its back turned. This unit is just standing and taking fire frontally. These units are in a defensive position. Defensive formation, Testudo. Most uh, spear and sword units will have some kind of defensive formation, a spear wall or um, shield wall, Testudo. And those formations are going to increase the missile block chance of uh, unit quite substantially. So without a missile block chance, these units have a 50% missile block chance. And being fired upon in the, the rear, they're going to get destroyed units. by crossbows. And these crossbows have a lot of ammo remaining. This unit of archers loses, uh, is going to use more ammunition quicker, and it's going to have a much harder time killing Herculeani Seniores. Keep in mind, I am not using any abilities now. No heavy shot. That could change the results. So the... Uh, Crossbowmen firing into the front are able to kill Herculeanus Seniores. The archers firing into the front, they're just going to tickle the Herculeanus Seniores a little bit. These uh, elite Germanic archers firing into the defensive formation, they're not going to do any damage. And the same holds true for the Germanic crossbowmen. The missile block chance is just too good for these arrows to do or, and bolts to do anything. If you see defensive formations like this being used by your opponent, don't waste ammunition on them. Charge them with cavalry, charge them with infantry, but do not fire upon them. Find better angles, find better targets. So, archers are not great against infantry. They will spend basically all of their ammunition killing a unit, even firing into the backs, not using precision and heavy shots, keep that in mind. And this is also at close range. But the Germanic crossbowmen, they're going to have 10 ammunition left and have killed an entire unit if they can fire into the back. They are also more expensive, so that needs to be considered, and they are also very vulnerable to archers. So you can use cavalry or archers to counter... Uh, crossbows, but firing into the front of units is really only going to be effective with crossbowmen. You're wasting all of the ammunition of this unit to get only 20 kills. Uh, this unit has 7 ammo left, it got 106 kills and destroyed the unit, so that is cost effective. But still, you'll still want to be firing into the unshielded side of units, and you're going to be want, want to be fi firing into the backs of units. If not, you're just going to waste your ammo, and this is even more pronounced than it was in Rome 2. There was still this mechanic in place, but since the defensive abilities also increase missile block chance across the board, you're going to be firing at units that have a 75% missile block chance frontally, and that's just going to deflect way too much ammo to enable your skirmishers to do the damage frontally. So in the next video, we will look at how the... Uh, how well the archers counter the crossbows, but archers overall, they don't tend to do well against infantry even when using heavy shot and precision shot. They will do better, still not great compared to the crossbowmen. Strength and honor. Oh, by the way, crossbowmen have a much lower rate of fire, so they need more time to get their killing done. Strength and honor.